We're privileged to have Mikhail McKay on the phone with us now on the Ugly Uncle Show. Hey, welcome to the Ugly Uncle Show, Mikhail. Oh, thank you, man. Nice to be here. Uh, good to have us. I know you've got a busy schedule, everything going on, but uh, you took the time to to be on the Ugly Uncle Show. And and hey, we're looking forward to to getting you over here in Fayetteville and and see what, seeing what you can do, not just on the football field, but uh, basketball court as well, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now you said that was a big thing in your recruitment. Was you told all the teams that were recruiting you you wanted to play both sports? Right. Uh, basically, you know, uh, once I start getting recruited, uh, actually, I uh, was getting recruited as a basketball player. You know, uh, right. It really started off small, and it uh, started actually getting bigger. You know, and um, I didn't really want to sell myself short. I, I got in contact with uh, Coach Tim Floyd over at UTEP. Right, and right. Uh, you know, me and him, we had a we had a very good relationship, and uh, you know, I, um, I committed to him because just because of the awesome program, you know, the outstanding coach he is, and then you know, just sitting down with my family and talking, they were like, you know, what about the football aspect? And one thing about me, man, I, I really didn't want to tell myself short, so I, I knew that just playing basketball and you know, seeing those guys out of football field was really going to hurt me, you know, and right. uh, so basically, I uh, opened my recruitment back up and. Some awesome things came out. I got my new highlight tape out, and man, some awesome things. And now I'm a Razorback. Right. So, are there any other sports you could play? Like when you get here, baseball, track, tennis, golf. I mean, we could pretty oh, much well, use help in any of those sports. <laughs> well, uh, I think I'm just gonna be playing basketball, and football. But right now, I am in track season in my high school season. Right now, the numbers that we're seeing on you. Uh, are pretty incredible, and and I want you to to be able to back the this up uh, from what we've heard. You're six six, right? Yes, sir. And what what's your forty time at? Um, I ran the old state uh, the Nike uh, Rise Elite Camp. I ran the four four five. That's that's pretty Joe good. Joe Adams and yeah, <laughs> some of those guys so. faster than Joe Adams, right? Uh, and your vertical is what? I was me- I was measured at actually a forty one. Again, that that's pretty solid. What what do you think is the the thing you bring most to the football field? Uh, well, basically being six six, you know, uh, it's a really a big target for your quarterback. You know, uh, just the relationship between the receiver and quarterback that's very important. And uh, him having a big target, you know, being able to create space and you know make the tough catches. I think I really think I can bring to the table. Right. Have you talked to Coach Mike Anderson? Yes, sir. I. Have. Uh, what are your thoughts about the job he's doing here at Arkansas? Uh, well, basically, uh, Arkansas is looking for, for, you know, good teammates, guys that's going to come in and add something to the program. You know, no one wants to recruit a guy that's just going to come and fit in. Everybody wants an outstanding guy, you know, to come and change the program. So I'm looking forward to coming and changing every program the best way I can. Hey, so how much did you know about Bobby Petrino before – he started recruiting you because, you know, he was a coach at Louisville there for a while. I really didn't know much, much about him. I moved to uh, Louisville my eighth grade year. Uh, I'm from Houston, Texas originally. Right. I moved from – but uh, I actually happened to work with uh, one of the guys. He actually coached Mario Uredia, the receiver. Right, right. At Louisville. And, uh, you know, me working on him, he always told me, you know, I always heard Coach Petrino, Coach Paul Petrino talk me. You know, he always told me how. And, you know, I was thinking like, man – this guy is so good at what he do, and he, he has to be coached up excellent, man. So those guys are excellent coaches, and they, they, they really know what they're doing. One of the things that you said uh, in, an, in a recent article was the intelligence of the system with the coaching staff and player and players was really impressive. Uh, what were your thoughts concerning all that? What what stuck out, you, out to you as being so impressive? Uh, well, first off, the thing that struck my eye was the language. Uh, you know, so when I go into some program, recruits going to some programs, they look at uh, all the aspects, but I never heard the pitch of everyone speaking the same language. Like you know, all the, the same cuss words, all of that. Right, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's, like regu- it's like regular language, you know, talking, but everyone knows, you know, the exact language, and it me- everything means something, so that really impressed me. Right. What was your recruitment like, like from the very beginning? Who Who first made contact with you? What's it like being a big-time recruit? And who did you call when you finally did commit to the Razorbacks? I don't know about being a big time recruit, but uh, when uh, when I first got into Arkansas, uh, I arrived. I was picked up by Coach Paul Petrino. Uh, me and Coach Petrino, we have a very a very strong relationship. Uh, 
and you know I respect him with the utmost respect. And uh, from 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 the jump of the uh, recruitment, you know, it was all family and love. You know, every, right. everything is so real. And not even the aspect on playing football. You know, those guys want to teach you how to live your life right. You know, those are real. You know, uh, believing in God type people, man. And I, I just loved it. And as soon as I, you know, realized all that, I called my grandmother and told him, Granny, you know, it's that time. <laughs> right. So when so when you came to town, they they took you out to eat when they got here, didn't they? Yes, sir. And how was that? I understand there's a decent uh, catfish restaurant yeah. around here. Yeah, man. Hey, man, that place is crazy. When I first walked in, man, it kind of scared me because I, I didn't know, you know, all that, it, all that was going to happen. But right. it was crazy, man. The fans, you know, it's, it's all love. And I really appreciate everything that was done for me. Uh, one more quick question. Why did you wait so late to commit? Obviously, it's a couple of months past the signing date. What was the thought process of waiting until when you did uh, well, basically, you know, my my me and my family had to talk a very very vacations about you know how how long I wanted to wait, you know, and uh, how, about the pressure and everything. So I basically just pushed everything off my shoulders and decided to wait, you know, to the best opportunity that could be set for me. And uh, you know, it, it worked out very well. Uh, what are the coaches telling you that that you need to work on the most before you get to campus? Or have they said, hey, here's something you need to strengthen, or here's a workout you need to do, something like that? Yeah, they have a uh, very specific workouts that they said, you know, uh, between the cardio, you know, your your speed and drills, your uh, about the jamming drills, you know, your releases, all those type of things, you know, uh, conditioning, you know, they, they they really preach, you know, on how to get ready for the the summer that's coming up. All right. Hey, I'm gonna switch it back over to basketball right quick. When you talk to Mike Anderson, uh, where did he talk to you about, you know, where you're gonna be playing and envision you? And your role on that team, because you're, you know, you're a bigger guy uh, in this type of system. Uh, so, what, what kind of player are you, and where do you think you'll be lining up uh, when you get on the basketball court? Uh, well, me and Mike, we, our talk was very short uh, due to the football recruitment and everything. But, uh, right. you know, I see myself as a combo guard. You know, uh, basically, you know, a guy that can basically create create plays for not only myself but my teammates as well. So I can see myself as a slashing guard, also as a uh, aggressive, you know, point point making player. Mikael, let me ask you this: Are the Arkansas coaches telling you that they want you to come in and play right away? Talking about red shirting, uh, what do they have to say about that on the football side? Oh uh, yes, sir. Uh, before the visit, you know, uh, before my visit was took, uh, we the question was asked, you know, on how how you guys were filled in, and you know, they let me know right off the bat that they had three guys that were going into the draft, you know, and they needed players that was ready to play right away. And uh, that was something that really uh, struck me because I, I wanted to be, you know, a true freshman, a guy that was going to come in the program and make a difference. So the, uh, the true freshman has point stake still stands. Bobby Petrino, he does expect every person that he recruits to come in ready to play. Like they're going to play from, right. from day one. And yeah. that one of the cool things is, is that there are no people, there's no one on the team whose job is secure. Right, it's a gotta, mental thing. I yeah, mean, you, if you know you're not going to play, then then uh, you're not going to come in with your head right. So, and even right. the even the starters have to they have to earn their position. Right, right, keep, right. Keep earning it. So, well, that's how he made a splash too. His first year here was, I'll play freshman. I don't care. You know, I'm going to put the guys that number one are talented and uh, want to be out there. Right. You know, I'm going to put them on the field. And uh, we were at spring practice the other day, and and he was. Um, I think it was uh, Paul Haynes who was yelling at the guys, and he says, play like you want to take somebody's spot. Play like you want to take somebody's spot. I mean, you could hear him yelling it from the stands, so that's pretty cool. Right, yeah, that's, that's awesome, man. Hey, uh, uh, final question, Mikel. When are you going to report here to uh, to campus? Uh, I'm going to report as soon as um, my graduation is over. My graduation is June 1st, so uh, as soon as all my bags are packed, man, I'm out of here. All right, summer courses, all of that? Yes, sir. Mikael, thank you so much for being part of the Ugly Uncle Show, being on the show with us today. Did a great job. Looking forward to you being here in the fall and, and you making a big splash right away. All right, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Hey, appreciate it, Mikael. Mikael right, McKay, yeah. future Arkansas Razorback. Football and basketball. Right, on the Ugly Uncle Show with us today.